School leaders are learning a new side effect of the region's recent growth. New annexations by city governments to build neighborhoods within city limits are popping up next to existing schools under the county system. Two examples of that, Johnson City's Keebler annexation is located right next to Washington County, Tennessee's Ridgeview Elementary School. The Miller Park subdivision annexed into Kingsport borders Sullivan County's Miller Perry Elementary School. The next installment in our Balancing the Boom Growth in the Tri-Cities series takes a look at this trend where kids in those neighborhoods might go to city schools when a county school just sits a few hundred feet away. John Janko joins us in the studio with more. John. Sarah, if you're living in one of those newly annexed neighborhoods, your child might have to make a much longer commute to a city school as things stand right now. Education leaders recognize the strangeness of that arrangement and say it could force district rezoning to best accommodate those students. It seems odd. I think it seems um, probably more odd to the families that can see the school from, from their house. Ridgeview Elementary School sits mere yards from what will soon be hundreds of new homes as part of Johnson City's Keebler annexation. But kids in those homes are zoned to go to Johnson City schools instead of the county school system. Boyd says because Keebler residents are city and county taxpayers, they would have the option to attend Ridgeview. But the building is already at capacity. Ridgeview is over 100% capacity. The only buyer definition in, in the policy of a closed school right now is Ridgeview Elementary. Families in Keebler could send their kids to an undercapacity county school or to Johnson City Schools. Johnson City Superintendent says the distance between Keebler and his district schools creates a cost. On the transportation side, have to have more uh, buses, more uh, seats on buses and the time that it takes uh, to get from home to school, from school to home, and, and making sure that's done safely. The same dynamic is unfolding in Kingsport's annexed Miller Park subdivision, zoned for the city's John Adams Elementary over the county's Miller Perry Elementary right next door. Kingsport City Schools Chief Student Services Officer Jim Nash says it's up to parents where their kids go to school. It's really a decision for families to make what's best for their children, you know, from a K-5 setting for elementary and then think long term for middle school and high school. The sudden injection of new students into Kingsport City Schools could trigger rezoning. If we need to, we will look at rezoning. Again, those are just ongoing discussions. Adams Elementary currently serves a large geographical area, so that, that could result in shifts of zones of other elementary schools. Changes to enrollment zones are also on the table in Washington County as they deal with Keebler and additional growth. Those adjustments impact families, both future families and also current families, you know, that'll have to be a, 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 a dialogue that happens with the community. Barnett says Johnson City needs more classroom space should families choose to attend their schools. We have to be ready and we just have to have that available to them. For Johnson City and Washington County Schools, Boyd says collaboration between the two systems is necessary to avoid redundancies in areas of high growth.